Hello everyone. Dr. Zia Tahir here. This video tutorial is solution to problem 1.10 from mechanical vibration, fifth edition. And the same problem is problem 1.10 in mechanical vibration, sixth edition by SSRA. This problem is to find a Kevlar equivalent torsional spring constant for the system as shown in the figure 1.70. So here two linear springs are connected with spring stiffness of K5 and K6 and four torsional springs are connected with, with torsional spring stiffness of K1, K2, K3 and then when other spring is connected which is K4. So relevant topic to this problem is 1.74 combination of springs and springs in parallel so that is 1.11 is a formula to find spring stiffness for parallel springs so you have to just simply add them and then for springs connected in series so then it is 1 over k equivalent is equal to 1 over k1 plus k2 up to kn. So topic 1.74 combination of springs is relevant to this problem. So now in this configuration k1, k2 and k3 they are connected in series and k5 and k6 are connected in parallel and what's the concept behind it? For K1, K2 and K3, so they are connected in series. The reason is that each spring that experience a certain angle theta1, theta2 and theta3 and that is equal to total rotation. So if you use the same concept which is being used here, to find out equivalent spring stiffness so then based on that criteria because the total angular displacement is theta so k1 k2 and k3 the total angular displacement of these three is equal to theta so these are connected in series now k5 and k6 are connected in parallel so what is the reason for that is these two springs so they have same displacement they have the same displacement so then uh, for these two translational spring so whatever is the force experienced by k5 so that is the same experience forced by k6 and then after this spring k4 the K4 spring looks like that is connected in series to K1, K2 and K3 but it is not connected in series because whenever there is a mass in between springs so they are not connected. So basically this K4 is connected in, in parallel with equivalent spring stiffness of K1, K2 and K3. So that is a concept behind it. So K4 is connected in parallel to equivalent of K1, K2 and K3. So and next what we need to do is because these two springs are linear springs so they have linear displacement and rest of all three they have uh, translation uh, rotational displacement so that will be the same. So we need to convert uh, linear displacement of K5 and K6 into rotational displacement but first I'll find equivalent spring stiffness of K1, K2 and K3 because they are connected in series so 1.17 equation will be used here so using series combination of springs so the equivalent of K1, K2, K3 is K1, 2, 3 and that is 1 over k1 plus 1 over k2 plus 1 over k3 and then making the denominator same and then further taking the reciprocal of both sides so k1 2 3 is k1 k2 k3 over k2 k3 plus k1 
K3 plus K1 K2 that is equivalent stiffness of then K1 K2 and K3. So this problem will be solved by using equivalence of elastic potential energies of all springs. Elastic potential energy for linear springs is half k x squared and elastic potential energy for translational springs is half k t theta square. So I am going to use here equivalence of potential energies. So using equivalence of elastic potential energies is that total equivalent potential energy is equal to potential energy due to these three springs k1 k2 k3 then potential energy due to k4 then potential energy due to k5 and k6 so for k5 and k6 is half k5 x5 squared plus half k6 x6 squared so now because it is required trans uh, equivalent torsional springs constant is required so we need to convert x5 and x6 which are linear displacements into rotational displacements so to convert uh, linear displacement of k5 and k6 to translational displacement so i'm going to assume that disk with the radius r and then it is subjected to some rotation theta so then it can be modified in a way like if it is being displaced by an angle theta so then spring k5 is connected so k5 will be in tension and this k6 will be in compression so then for the both one the displacement will be the same which is x5 and x6 and that displacement which because initially they are connected here so then it is being moved to this point so then using simple relationship s is equal to r theta so then that linear displacement can be approximated in terms of r and theta which is uh, uh, which is a basically curve so then here in a simple approximation we can go for x5 is equal to radius is uppercase r sorry uh, so that is uppercase r so uppercase r times by theta and then x6 is also uppercase r times by theta and this is just approximation so now this approximation can be uh, how is that been approximated because this is a curve but we are looking for displacement in a direction which is parallel to the spring so what we can do that in that way we are going to just draw a line with the approximated approximation that this line is equal to that curve and then by assuming that as a straight line and this angle is theta so when this one is r theta so then this one will become r theta into cosine theta so for the vibration or solving these problems the assumption is that we are going to take that theta as small so sine theta is nearly equal to theta or cos theta is equal to nearly equal to theta so then this r theta cos theta is approximately equal to theta so x5 with this approximation is r theta and x6 is r theta so then these values can be substituted into the equation so now the first two term remain same and then is half k5 r square theta squared and half k6 r square theta square so now on right hand side half and theta square can be taken as common and then it can be cancelled with half theta square on left hand side
सो नाउ बाई टेकिंग हाफ आर स्क्र थीटा फ्राम राइट हैंड साइड एंड देन कैंसलिंग दैट हाफ थीटा ऑन बोथ साइड के कैबलेंट विल बिकम के वन टू थ्री विच वी हैव आर एडी कैलकुलेटेड देयर सो दैट इज के वन टू थ्री एंड प्लस के फोर प्लस के फाइव आर स्क्र प्लस के सिक्स आर स्क्र सो दैन दिस इज क्विवलेंट स्प्रिंग स्टिफनेस इज के वन के टू के थ्री डिवाइडेड बाई के टू के थ्री प्लस के वन के थ्री प्लस के वन के टू प्लस के फोर एंड देन फ्राम लास्ट टू टर्म आर स्क्र कैन बी टेकन एज कॉमन फैक्टर सो दैन आफ्टर टेकिंग आर स्क्र एज कॉमन फैक्टर सो दैट इज आर स्क्र इन टू के फाइव प्लस के सिक्स so that is complete solution to this problem thank you very much for watching